Here's question 28 from the chapter 8 review. Uh, for those of you who ask about question number 16, uh, this question is very similar to, to number 16. It's just kind of a more complicated version. Um, I turned the diagram sideways because, again, I'm very visual. I need to see things up right. Um, this is a parallel line relationship. Um, we know that when you have parallel lines cut by transversals, that the transversals are cut in the same proportion on the right and the left. So if I want to find this length over here, um, basically I know that this over this is equal to this over this, this over this is equal to this over this. Uh, the upper two parts over the lower part is equal to the upper two parts over the lower part. The upper part over the whole is equal to the upper part over the whole. The middle over the whole is equal to the middle over the whole. All of those different ratios that you can create are, are the same. And you can do these from left to right. So like left over right is equal to left over right. Left over right is equal to left over right. Um, right over left is equal to right over left. Right over left is equal to right over left. Any of those proportions that you can create from left to right or up to down, um, those, those ratios are all going to be the same as long as you're comparing things that are in the same position. So again, uh, don't try to do all these at the same time. Okay, pick one variable, get a relationship, and go from there. So um, I look at the side that has the least information. Um, I just have the upper part and the whole. So let's do a comparison between the upper part and the whole. Uh, x over 400 is equal to the upper part here over the whole. And let's see, the whole here is going to add up to, let's see, that would be uh, 220 plus 100 is 320. So 320 will be the whole. Uh, by the way, notice that's a fourth of the whole length. So this will be a fourth of the whole length. That's going to make x 100 uh, before you can solve that proportion there and you find out that x was equal to 100. So now we've got 100 there. Okay, uh, if I want to find this length, make that y. Um, same kind of thing, and, and you know, you can leave that 100 in there. Like now you could do 100 over y is equal to 80 over 100. Uh, or if you just want to ignore the fact that you have the 100, you know, maybe you're not sure if you were right or not, um, now you've got the middle part in the whole. So let's, let's do that ratio, okay? Uh, the middle part compared to the whole. Always label these things, okay? You're gonna make a lot fewer mistakes if you do that. Middle part is y when the whole is 400. Okay, the middle part over here is 100 when the whole is equal to 320. And I don't quite know what that is, so let's cross multiply there. That's going to be a 4 with uh, 4 zeros is equal to 320y. No idea what that is, so let's do that in the calculator. Um, let's see, 4 with uh, 4 zeros divided by 320. Looks like y is going to be 125. Okay, and then uh, to find your last length here, actually, you already know that's 100, and you know that's 125. You could just subtract these two from 400. Uh, 400 minus 225 would be 175, right? And uh, that ends up being our final answer there. So um, anyway, can work out pretty nicely. And again, if you have questions about 16, 16 I, I think should be a simpler version of number 